All right, my friend, welcome. I'm Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at The Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to do an incline dumbbell curl, which is one of the absolute best biceps exercise that not enough people are doing. Too many people are just doing regular standing curls when they can actually get better results from doing an incline dumbbell curl. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the science of why incline dumbbell curls are so good, but more importantly, we're gonna go through the exact exercise tutorial. We're gonna see me demonstrate these with all the key form points, and I'm gonna give you some recommendations on some sets and reps on how you can incorporate incline dumbbell curls into your training routine for bigger, stronger arms. I know you're gonna learn a ton. So get out a pen and paper and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com All right, so in general, and this is a big picture philosophy thing, some of the best exercises on the planet are the ones that have the biggest range of motion where we can move a, a, a muscle group through a big stretch into a deep contraction. And that's where the incline dumbbell girl shines over regular curls because we've created an incline bench and as I'm sitting back here, when the bicep is dangling down, it is in a super stretch position. It is more stretched here than it would be if I was just sitting here. It's in a pre-stretch position, which means as I come into contraction, I'm going to demonstrate in just a second, we're going to get a deeper, stronger contraction and you're going to get more damage to the muscle fibers, the good kind of damage that your body's going to then grow on top of. So let's dive into the form points. The first thing you need, I'm going to get up here for a second, is a bench that is on an incline. And when I say incline dumbbell curl, uh, we don't want a, an incline that's dramatic. I mean, this is just fine. It's just a slight, slight incline versus if the bench were straight up. You do not want to set your bench way back here in an incline that would be good for, um, let's say, you know, maybe like a a high um, incline dumbbell bench press because we want to make sure the muscle is pre-stretched but we don't want to put the shoulder in a bad position. Could you imagine if we're all the way back here how hard that would be on our shoulders? This is roughly the angle that we want. So we're going to get here and whatever weight you normally do for curls, you want to back off on that weight by about 5-10 pounds because this is a lot harder of an exercise. So. First thing, those dumbbells are gonna dangle at your sides. Like all good curling exercise, I want you to squeeze those dumbbells nice and hard. That activates those forearm muscles and those biceps muscles, and you're right here. Take a deep breath, fill your chest, and we're gonna bring it up, curl, and then supinate at the top. And supination, if you're not familiar, is the, is the act of twisting. So that pinky comes up like this, and we're gonna come down right to here. Pause, flex that triceps at the bottom, come right back up, squeeze, hold right here. So there's massive tension right here in the biceps. As I come down, I'm pausing the bottom, getting that pre-stretch, stretching, the, flexing the triceps, coming right on up, curl, hold, right on down, just through here. Good full range of motion, come right on up, squeeze, hold this right here at the top for a second, come right on down, unwind, back to neutral, flex the triceps, come right on through, squeeze at the top, and right back on down. So that is how you do an incline dumbbell curl. The key form points is really just the setup itself. Getting that bench in a position where there's that slight uh, incline so we're back here and we'll be able to curl in that full range of motion. I want you to start neutral, come up, supinate at the top. That pinky turns out, that gets that good flex of the bicep. Squeeze, and then come on down, unwind it, and come on down to the bottom position. So, amazing exercise. Again, back off on the weight and do this as one of your main biceps motions along with your pull-ups and your rows. Really really, really effective stuff. And I like to do this in a slightly higher rep range. And there's actually some new research showing that training arms in a higher rep range can lead to some really, really great results. So 12 up to 20 reps will just pump your arms up. Make sure to squeeze those handles really hard. And I'd say around three sets at the end of some of your workouts. Whether you put this at the end of a back workout where you've already done your pull-ups and your rows and you want to finish off the biceps, or if you're the kind of person that has a dedicated arm day, then this would be something you definitely want to incorporate. Um, it's just a really amazing dumbbell exercise. So I hope you found this valuable and you learned some key form points and I want you to go ahead and try those and let me know in the comments below how it feels. Even if you're just at home right now um, watching on the computer or the phone, get yourself into a position right here, grab something and try to do a curl and feel that pre-stretch and let me know in the comments below if you feel that stretch because that's the key. The big stretch into the big contraction. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Let us know this is valuable for you and subscribe to our Fit Product Project YouTube channel. We have hundreds of videos on the channel already um, that covers some of these best exercise tutorials but also nutrition um, for fat loss, for muscle building, the proper supplements how to get and stay motivated, all the important stuff you need to stay strong and healthy for your family. We are the Fit Father Project. This is what we do, my friend. So 
subscribe, join our FitFollow Project YouTube community, um, and do know that for every single one of our videos, there is an article associated with the video over on our blog. So you can scroll down in the description. You can check out our blog. It has even more in-depth tutorials on some of these exercises as well as some of those other great biceps exercises. And because you're a person interested in really perfecting some of these exercises and probably growing bigger arms, then you'll probably be interested in this new free cheat sheet we created. It is the 50 best exercises divided up by body parts. So we go through every body part, arms, like biceps, triceps, chest, legs, abs, traps, everything, and we list the best exercises based on the science, the actual EMG research, and then what we do is give you links actually to the form tutorials and all the fine points. So if you want that, we'll send that straight to your email. There's links in the description for that, as well as over on our blog, you can download that as well. We'll get it right to your email, and you'll be well on your way to designing better, more effective workouts. So I hope you found this valuable. Thanks for stopping by. Looking forward to seeing you around the blog, in the YouTube channel, and sending you that free PDF. I'll talk to you very soon, my friend.